Good afternoon, everyone. We're on the rock. I almost said Bishop, but we're missing Bishop by right now. But in the name of Jesus, after the ninth, I can tell you by the grace of God, hopefully he'll be back. But God always got a ram in the bush. So he, I got our grandson. He's the singer, so he's a psalmist. So we'll have him singing for us today while our wonderful guests, hallelujah, will do the preaching or teaching. Whatever God puts upon his heart, praise God. And we will be introducing them a little later. First of all, we're going to go to the Word of God. I'm Reverend Dr. Evelyn Underwood, and I'm grateful to, uh, to be here on today. The devil attacked my body, but I'm not going to give him any room today. In Jesus' name, I'm going to do what God has for me to do. And first of all, is read his Word. We're going to the King James Version of the Bible, St. Matthew, the 16th chapter, beginning at verse 13. Get your Bibles. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some, Elijah, and others, Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are thy Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not yes, Lord. prevail against it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thus read the word of God. Amen. God's word is blessed. We just need to adhere to it. Do what it says. Thank you, Lord. And at this time, I'm going to ask our grandson, Elder Timothy Burnett, Jr., to give us a song. Amen. Um, <clears throat> I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some lonely nights. Mm. But when I, when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days, they outweigh my, my bad days. And I, mm. I won't complain. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some, some weary days. And some lonely nights. But when I, when I look around. Hallelujah. And I think things Jesus. over. Thank you, Jesus. All of my, my good days. Hallelujah. They outweigh my, my bad days. And I, I won't complain. Because God, ah. you've been good to me. So good. He, he's been so good to me. More than this old world, or you could ever be. He's been good yes, to, to me. He dried all my tears away. He turned my midnight into day. So I'll, I'll just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I, I, I won't complain. Because God, he's been so good to me. He, he's 
been so good to me more than this whole world or you could ever be he's been good to to me he tried all my tears away yes lord Jesus. he turned my midnight into day so i <coughs> say thank you lord thank you lord i i won't complain yeah. Amen. I won't complain. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It gives me great pleasure. And it's a privilege to have, I'm saying, the proud pastor. Praise God. The proud pastor. Because he can have pride in Amen. being the pastor of Zion Hill. Yes. Amen. Yes, he can. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Awesome. Hallelujah. Awesome. Awesome church. Awesome people. Yes. Hallelujah. You, we were there Amen. for that verse. Didn't we have a good time Amen. in the Lord? Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Amen. I give you the man of God, Pastor Johnny Harris. Praise Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad to be here once again on The Rock with my friends, Dr. Evan Underwood, his grandson, um, Elder Underwood, and also in the absence of my friend, yes. the Bishop yes. King James Underwood. We mm. love you, my man. And uh, we pray your speedy recovery in the name of the Lord. Amen. But I'm, I'm grateful to be here. My name is Johnny Harris. Has already been a state of pastor of Zion Hill Ministry. But I just, I have so much to be thankful for. God has truly been good. We've only been there five years, and God has done mighty work right there. Mighty. And I'm just excited about being part of his kingdom, part of the body of Christ. Amen. And the day I was asked to be here by my friend, Sister Dr. Evelyn Underwood, and can't tell them no, because <laughs> I told God I go. Yes. And He said, if you need someone, I said, Lord, send me. Here I am. Send, oh, me. send me. So the thing here, I'm not trying to be before you long, I'm not trying to be able to impress you by any means, but trying to lift up the name of Jesus today. And the topic I want to be able to speak about today is about being an overcomer. <clears throat> being an overcomer. Amen. Being an overcomer. It means a lot to me, even that it just say that word behind surmounting so many obstacles in our lives. And here it is, we're in a brand new year, a brand new week, the first week of 2019. And there's some things we still need to overcome. But as a young man just sung the song, I look back over my life and I won't complain because God has been so good to us. Yes, yes, he has. He really just took some of us up out of there, miry clay, yes. and placed our feet on a solid ground. And and that's just part of my testimony. I'm not here, like I said earlier, to try to impress anyone, but I just wanted to let you know that God is good. Yes, He is. And this is a brand new opportunity that we can be able to embrace this living God. And it's amazing how He was actually getting prepared to, to return to heaven in the book of John, around about the 16th chapter, and the 33rd verse. And I just want to take the time and pray, if I may. Yes, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. We come before your throne once again with bowed heads yes, Lord. and with humble hearts. Father God, we're not here for shape, form, nor fashion. Yes, Lord. We're here, Lord, because you are good, Father. Yes, Jesus. And Lord, you are everywhere. And I can feel your anointing, your spirit, your presence Asha. in this place, Father. Yes, Lord. Ooh. For you said in your word that you will never leave us, nor will you forsake yes, us. Yes, Lord. And Father, here we are. Here we are right now. So, Lord, we just ask you to just remove any and everything that's not like you. Yes, Jesus. And step into our bodies, our minds, our heart, that we may be I able to lift up the name of Jesus right now, Father, with power and integrity, Father, and stand on your word and gird it in faith, Father. And, Lord, we just thank you for what we're about to thank receive. You, thank you, Lord. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Let us say thank God. Thank, thank God. And amen. Thank God. Amen. Has it been good to you? Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. 2019. Mm. I think it's the fifth. And the thing is, it's just amazing how I don't want to, gaze back, but every now and then I have to look back <laughs> yeah. and just see the things that tried to hinder us, tried to hold us down, but he brought us through. Ah, yes, I was in service on, uh, on New Year's Eve and, and I was just excited about being in church one more year, one more time, and, and I'm excited about what he's doing in our lives. And I work in the streets and in, in the community a lot with people who seem to be downtrodden, have a lot of tribulation, a lot of stuff they go through, but it was a lot of us in church on New Year's Eve. Amen. And he put the spirit, we are overcomers because he overcame. Yes. And the scriptures say here, I'm just looking at one verse if I may. 
uh, the book of John in the 16th chapter, in the 33rd verse, it says, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. <laughs> And, and that scripture means so much to me, and it even means a little bit more to me today because as I was coming in the studio today, <laughs> it's the latest that God gave her a word for me. Yes, yes. That the peace of God be upon me. And it's mm -hmm. just, I just love how God has a tendency of confirming yes, his word. He, he his is an awesome God, and I just like to be confirmed and know that God hear our prayers. Yes. And the thing is, it's a terrible thing to be in turmoil. And the thing is, if we just learn to trust in God with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding and to acknowledge him in all our ways, he promised to direct our path. Mm -hmm. yes. And the thing is, we don't have to be an eloquent theologian. You don't have to know <laughs> hermeneutics. I mean, all that's good in hermeneutics and you learn how to do etymology. But I'm here to tell you, but once you just learn to be obedient and trust God, Amen. he would be able to bring you to a, a realm of peace that that that. Surpasses all understanding. understanding. Help yeah. me. I don't say, man, because he is an amazing yeah. God. And I wouldn't say this if I hadn't tried him for myself. Yes. Yes. You see, but I him. tried him for myself, and I found him to be, be a God of his word. Yes. And as the scripture said, these things have I spoken unto you, that in me. Mm -hmm. And I stopped right there. In, in me, he's saying. <laughs> not outside of me, but we got to be in yes. Christ. Not around Christ, not of Christ, but in Christ. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for being able to allow us to be able to come in him because he said, I am the door. And no man come through the Father except but they through come him. through yes, me. Yes. So the thing is, I, I love how he just makes it so plain until a little country boy like me can be able to receive it. Yes. And he said, I open the door and I invite you in. Yes. He said, I stand at the door and I knock. And whoever wow. hears me knocking and open the door and allow me to come. He said, I come in and I sup with you. Yes. I get excited sometimes. I told you I, I, don't, I don't do this well, but I get excited about being saved. Yes. I get excited about knowing that the heat is in me is greater than the heat is in the world. Yes. I get excited about the things that I used to do I don't do no more. Uh -huh. It's amazing it's how he's, over, he's made us overcomers. Yes. And, I, and I'm excited about being an overcomer because I, I had some trials and tribulations, even this year, but last year was really rough. Mm. Ain't nothing but the devil trying to be able to steal your joy. Mm. But God said, but if you get in me, God said, I've already overcame. I've already defeated the enemy. Yes, All you got to do is just get in me and trust me. Mm -hmm. And just be still and see the salvation it's of the Lord, the Lord in the Lord. And I'm excited about what God is doing in our lives. And I'm glad to be around like-minded believers yes. who are overcoming. See, I come from an old school when it said, you know a tree by the I fruit it bears. Yes, yes. And there's a lot of people reclaiming, reclaiming, proclaiming that they are free. But their fruit is still indicating they're in bondage. Oh, yes. Jesus. And so the thing is, see, everybody can want to hear a good sermon. But the people I'm around today, they want to see, see a good it. sermon. Yes. Yes. And that's why we need to be able to just come from behind Stein Glass in our church and get into our communities yes. and let a dying world that there's a living Savior. Yes. Yes. And that's it. God called me out of darkness into his marvelous life. He called me out of darkness. He fixed me up. He got rid of that drugs and alcohol in my life. Had me stop cheating on my wife and doing a whole lot of crazy stuff. Fixed me up. Then he filled me with the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Then he gave me a hunger and a thirst for his word. Yes. And then when I got filled with the Holy Spirit, when I, my heart was overwhelmed. I was excited about being saved. Now he told me, I got something for you to do. Yes. And he sent me back to where he brought me from to tell other people. It's not me who overcame, but it's the he that's in me who overcame. Yes. And his name is Jesus. And if you want to get to know him, I can introduce you to him. Yes. Because he is there with his arms stretched out wide. Yes. He is there and said, just come in and I'm going to sit you at the table and I will anoint your head and I will fill your cup until it run over. Mm -hmm. well, we've, got to, we've got to be able to get to the point where we're learning, ready, ready to learn of him. Yes. We've got to get to know him. Yes. See, it's not of him, but it's amazing that we need to get to know him. He said, no, he be is. in me. Mm -hmm. He said, ye might have peace. That you may have peace in this world. Uh -huh. Because he also tells us to be a friends with the world, you're an enemy of God. Ah. Yes, yes. See, years and years upon years, I thought I was fighting against the devil. Mm -hmm. But I was fighting against God. Ah. But when I surrendered to God ah. and submitted to God and resisted the devil, the devil had to flee. Yes. Because this in the word is written. So it's written, so it should be done. God's word does not come back to him void. Thank no, you, Jesus. And he's able to set you free. He's able to have you to overcome. Then you can go back and tell your family, your wife, your children, and let them know that, that God who's living inside of you can raise you up. He can teach you how to be a good husband. Yeah. He can teach you how to be a good wife. He even can teach you how to be a good child because yeah. our father does not have any grandchildren. We all belong to him. That's right. He said, you little children, you are mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, my darling.
<laughs> oh, my darling. <laughs> just, he called us his darling little children. Yes, and I yes. thank God he loved me so much that he can call me his darling children. Yes. I've never had anyone to love me like God loved thank me. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm not going to give up on him. I'm not going to turn my back on him no, because no, no. he has been good to me. Yes, Lord. And I thank him for being able to allow me to come here this morning, this afternoon, and sit down and talk about the goodness of the Lord. Yes, because Lord. in the book of 1 John 4, 7, it said, Be, My beloved, let us love one another. Mm -hmm. for, love, for the love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, mm -hmm. and he knows God. Mm -hmm. And he that loveth not, mm -hmm. knoweth not nah. God. For God is love. Yes. we got to come to the point where we develop a personal relationship. Mm -hmm. Spend some time with him. Mm -hmm. Being able to know we're not exempt because we get saved. Yes. But that power on the side of us is not what you go through. It's how you go through it. Yes. He's going to give you victory, and somebody's watching you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your daughters and your children, your sisters and your brother, they're watching you. Yes. And if you hold on to God's hand, they can see that it's not you, but it's a supernatural power that's in you. Yes. Overcoming the obstacles that you, you're facing today. See, the thing is, I, I just hate to keep bringing it, but I can't help it. I, I was in a bad way. <laughs> I was in a bad way. I didn't know how I was going to get out of it. Even my family gave up on me. But I called on that name Jesus. Wow. I'm called up on that name Jesus, and he heard my cry. Yeah. And he came into my life years ago, and I'm telling you, I just can't talk, talk about it enough. I never would have dreamed, I never could have believe, believed it, that God had something in his word to help me deal with a substance abuse problem. What? Yes. I stopped looking at it as being a substance abuse problem and started looking at it as being sin. Yes. Ah, yes. See, we would start working on the symptom, but we weren't working on the problem. Problem. Mm -hmm. But once I started dealing with the sin, he started dealing with the symptoms. Yes. Ah. And I ah. gave my sins to God. He took it and he washed it and he cleansed it and he threw it in the lake of forgiveness. Ah. Mm -hmm. And I thank him for giving me and let me know I need to work on the real problem and stop working on the symptoms. Mm. Mm. This is a byproduct, but once I started saying, my illness is not just a disease. It's a sin. But yeah. Jesus' blood, Asha. love, cover all sins. Mm. He can be able to break the back of sin in your life. Yes, he but he said in the book of Ephesians, everything that has a name has to rely and, and, and submit to the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because That's his right. name is above every I name. Have it. So if we stop calling, I got something wrong. I don't know what's wrong. And call it what it is. I have a disobedient problem. And I need to learn to be obedient to my Lord. Yes. And once you learn to be obedient, he will come and break that disobedience. Lord, he will right. straighten out the crooked. He would untwist the twist it. Ah. He would make the, 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 I mean, the crooked straight and the rough place smooth. Yes, every he is able to do it. I'm telling you, this God we serve is an awesome God. Yes, but we've got to be able to do it his way. Yes, sir. We keep on trying to counsel God. But once we come to the point and allow my Jesus to counsel me, you'll see everything just start falling like Lord, dominoes. I'm so glad about being saved and, and overcoming some things, yes. surmounting some obstacles. Everything that's so, the thing that I used to do, I just don't do no more. Thank you, Jesus. Some places I used to go, don't I don't go no more. I got so much love in me. I'm telling you, I, I mean, I never want to say that because it seemed a little arrogant to conceit. But I got a whole lot of love because I had a whole lot of hate in me. Yes, Lord. But God took the hate out of me and he filled me with his love. Yes, Lord. And I got so, it just oozing out of me. And I've been I looking shot. for people to love on. And I've been looking for people to be able to bless because it's the hate that's in me. Thank you. I'm not bragging on me. I'm talking about just Jesus because yes. I got some relatives and some enemies who can tell you they're glad I'm saved. Yes, Lord. Yes. Because God has made a difference in my life. Yes, Lord. And he can make a difference in your life as well. You can be an overcomer. Yes, Lord. You are an overcomer. Yes, Lord. Because he has spoken into your life. Yes, Lord. He haven't gave you an assignment that he set you up to fail. If he said you can do it, God knows you can do it. It's going to take some effort. It's going to take some work. But you've got to learn to submit yourself under the mighty hands of God. Yes. Yes. And he will exalt you yes, in due time. Yes, Lord. I'm excited yes. about what God is doing in the life of brothers and sisters in my community. Yes, he Lord. said, therefore, in the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, I'm trying to get it all in real quick. 2 hey, Corinthians 5, 17, therefore, if anyone in Christ, if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creation. Yes. And the thing is, we can be born again. Yes, Lord. We must be born again. Must be. Yes. It's essential that we allow the Spirit of God to come and dwell inside of us. Yes, yes, Lord. That we can be able to know that he is committed to us now. He's obligated to us now because we belong to him. Yes. I'm so glad that I belong to him today. <laughs> I'm just excited about it because when I have a problem, I say, Lord, this is yours. Yes. You know, you can handle this. I know ain't nothing too hard for my God. Nothing, nothing too, too big for my God. And I'm excited about what God is doing. Yes, I'm glad to be here today. I, like I said, I'm going to be before you long. But I just want to try to encourage somebody to know that, they, that you're able to be an overcomer. Yes. Regardless of how dark it may look right now. How it seems like it's hopeless right now. But we serve a God. And I'm telling you, this is the beginning of a brand new year. It can be the beginning of a brand new life. I'm so glad that God can be able to take the life you have, fix it up, and give it back to you. That you can be able to show your children. That this God we serve is real. Yes, Jesus. He is real. He is true. 
All he, they need to do is look for a sermon that is walking and talking. Yes. Not just preaching behind a the pulpit. Uh -uh. They're mm -hmm. looking for a sermon that they can see. Uh -huh. And who can preach to your family better than you? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But you have to be able to come and let God work on you. And a lot of people say that God ain't through with me yet. Are you sure? Are you sure that God is not through with you yet? Why do we say that like it's a cop-out, like he's trying to prolong my sin? Why did it take God so long to work on you? Ah. He created this whole universe in six days. Ah. And we've been holding on to the same little sin for 20, 30 ah. years. And using the cop-out like he's not through with me. Are you sure he's not through with you? Sometimes, you know, God has been gone. The anointing been gone. And you still call on the name of the Lord, but he said your sin will block him out from you. Yes, yes it will. He said, your sins, the thing is, don't keep thinking God's something to play with. Mm -hmm. And saying God is not through with me yet. He didn't walk away from you, but you walked away from him. Mm -hmm. And he's telling you today, with open arms, come on back. Come on back. That he can wipe the sins away, that we can be able to develop this relationship again. And stop copping out about God is not <laughs> through with me. Are you sure he's not through with you? Mm -hmm. Because you walked away from him. Mm -hmm. And he's sending this on the rock program through these airways to let you know you need to come back to come him. Back. Mm -hmm. Repent and come on back to the Lord. Because this thing is real. Yeah. You know, I never thought I'd be talking about the love of Christ. Mm. You know, this is something I heard. This is not something I heard or something I read. This is something I've experienced. He is real. He is real. And I implore you with every five of my beings, give him a chance. Yes. Give him a chance. It Find your local Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church and submit yourself. And learn what thus says the Lord. And allow the power of the Holy Ghost to lead and guide you and yes. be able to break off those things that seem to be unbreakable. Restore marriages that seem to be unrestorable. Mm -hmm. I'm a living witness. My wife passed recently, be a year ago, in a couple more days. But I'm here to tell you, she died with a loving, caring husband. Yes. Because what God can do in the life of a believer. Yes. yes. Let somebody see your flowers while you're still living. Yes. Allow God to come in and be the overcomer. He said that in me, you might have peace. Yes. Ain't nothing like peace. That peace that comes from God. Mm. To get rid of all the chaos, all the arguing, all the fussing, all the bickering, all the backstabbing, all the getting my lick back, uh. all of the being able to, who can outdo who mm. evil with evil. Mm. Let's overcome I evil say. with good. Yes. You can't do it unless God be able to give you this peace that we're yes. talking about. Lord. That peace which surpasses all understanding. All understanding. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What a word. What a word. You got a song yeah. that go with that? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. What a word. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He came through 42 Hallelujah. generations. Yes. He, he came here to die. Yes, he did. He came to die. What did he tell his father? Prepare yeah. me a body. Yes, yes, he did. And I'll go down. Hallelujah. And redeem man. Yes, yes. He came to die. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. And but in the Garden of Gethsemane, mm -hmm. what did he say? Uh, nevertheless. Nevertheless. In the name of Jesus. Down. Hallelujah. Not my will. Let that not my will, but your will, will be done. done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank what you. What a mighty God. Amen. He I, knew I, what was in that cup. I love that he word. Knew what? Nevertheless. I shall. When you accept him, you uh, never have the less. I shall. Regardless of you, uh, you, you never have the less. Uh, you only have yes, the best. Uh, because yes, he said, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Not my will, let your will let be your done. Let your will be done. Ain't he an awesome God? Hallelujah. And he almighty God. I shall. I just thank, thank him you, that he Jesus. would Hallelujah. never give us the less. He knew what was in that cup. But he only give us the best. He knew yes. what was in that cup. Yes, he did. But he said, Hallelujah. I take it. Yes. I drank yes. it up. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, he did. I drank it up. And on the cross, up. he did he did not. He didn't want the painkiller. He took it all. Yes, he said, just Lord. for my he took it all. Thank and you, Jesus. You know what I mm. think when Thank I take the communion? Hallelujah. I said, He remembered me. Yes. You know, mm. I was his enemy. Yes. 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 Good oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. I was yet his enemy. My God. I was on his mind. Yes. Hallelujah. He had us written in his palm of his hand. Even the one. He wrote us in the palm of his hand. Thank you, he can't Jesus. Forget about Even us. the one thought that they was killing him. Ah. He was dying for dying them. For what a mighty God. How about yeah. how Thank you, Jesus. I just Hallelujah. love the way he did You got that. a song you yeah. want to sing. <laughs> Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Uh, go on. <laughs> Have you any rivers mm. that you see mm. uncrossable? Mm. And have you, have you any mountains mm. that you can turn or through? Come on now. Yes, Lord Jesus. God, I shall. he specializes in things mm. 
that seem impossible. Oh, glory. And he will do. do. Yes, what? Where no other power, <laughs> Holy Ghost power, <laughs> can do. Have you any mountain mm. that you can wait? Mm. Have you any rivers that you see uncrossable? And have ah. you any mountain mm. that you can mm. turn Turned up through? through. Ah. God, yes, he you specializes in things mm -hmm. that seem impossible, impossible, and he will do. Oh. When he do it, when he do it, no other power, no other power. Holy Hallelujah. Ghost power can, can do. do. I tell you that God, God. specializes. God. Specializes God. God. Specializes, specializes God. Specializes ah. and He will do ah. with no other power. Holy Ghost power can do. My God, my God. No Amen. other power. No other no power. Other power. Can he, do. He got all power ah. in the name all of Jesus. Power in the and he tells us yes, that he, when he got through praying in the 17th chapter of John, he said, Sanctify them with thy word. Ah. For thy word, word is, is truth. truth. Ah. Put yes. that word inside of you. Be able to live that word. Yes, yes. Lord. That Holy Ghost power. Yes, Lord. There's nothing like it. I thank God that you don't have to do the yes, things you used to do. Mm. You don't have to say the things you used yes, to say. Lord. And Holy oh, Ghost power, you, I mean, it, it, that it'll peace that passes yes. all understanding. It'll give you a new direction. Oh, Jesus, it'll thank you, It'll give you new Lord. conversations. Yeah. Mm, it'll make mm -mm. things different in your life. I just mm, love mm -mm. being and in, in, mm, in, mm, just in, in, infiltrate with the Holy Ghost power. Mm, mm, mm. And when I hear that verse talking about he would exalt every valley, mm. I used to think he's going to bring the valleys up. <laughs> and he's told me really, he fills the valley. Mm, mm, he mm. fills those empty fills, parts. Yes. Yeah. And see, he wants to fill us. Be ye filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Be ye filled. Mm. And that's what he wants to do. When, he, when you're down and out, like you seem, you're hopeless. You don't seem like you know you can get your way through. He said, but I will lift up that valley. Mm. Mm -hmm. He said, I bring mountains low. Mm. He said, but when he lift up the valley, that means he don't just puff you up or blow you up, but he fill you up. Ah. So you can overflow. In the name of Jesus. Ah. That, that it be, man, I love overflow. the way he revealed that to me in that revelation. He mm. wants to fill us when we're feeling down and out. And we don't have, we don't made some mistakes, and sometimes we are our worst enemies. Sometimes some people can forgive us, but we never can forgive ourselves. Yes, Lord. And you guys just shake it off. I have taken it away from you. Mm -hmm. I threw it into the lake of forgiveness. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord. Stop going back there and fishing and bringing out your past. Mm -hmm. We got a brand new opportunity. Shake it off and just go forward with our future. Yes, I'm Lord. excited about 2019. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about what's going to happen in 2019. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Because he's been good, amen. A new beginning. Has it been good to you? Yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, I, got, yes. I mean, I know God is too hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, it ain't nothing too hard for our God, amen. Mm -hmm. I'm ex A excited. A new beginning. A new beginning. Yeah. A new beginning. Yes. Sometimes we think mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. just like David, you know. Hallelujah. Uh, he, uh, they what? These, oh, these fine-looking men, you know. Mm. Yeah, I got a little son back there, but he out there with the uh, with the uh, with the sheep, them mm -hmm. stinky sheep. <laughs> well, no, no, you good. don't want him, but uh. these fine-looking men. No, but he was the one. Was the one. The, uh. the, the oil wouldn't even pour. Uh. No, it wouldn't come out the horn. The oil wouldn't even pour. It wouldn't come out the horn. Pour out the horn. Yes, it would. Uh huh. Because God, God knew. God looks in the heart. Yes. Men look on the outside. Ah, God looks at the heart. Ah, yes. And he wouldn't yes. move. The oil wouldn't move. But it when wouldn't it came move. Up, and when David became a king, he never forgot he used to be a shepherd. Ah, so ah. that's made him so powerful. Ah. You know, sometimes when you get elevated, you got to ah. remember where you came from. God ah. can't even yes. do and that's nothing when he said, God, David is a man after my own heart. Own heart. Because he still cared about the sheep. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. Ooh, Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> thank you for coming, Pastor. Yes. Hallelujah. God God. Praise God. Yes, a new beginning. Peace. Yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. We'll see you next week. God <laughs> love, love, you. love you. And we love you too. We love you too. Jesus. Amen. God bless yes. you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 2019. <laughs> 2019. <laughs>